The fact is, is we know humans can control this virus. The challenge is how do you put it together, and how do you put it together in a real time frame that's going to matter to the people that are out there. Ten years after the first reported case of AIDS, the disease had exploded into a massive pandemic. I saw the devastation that it was wreaking. You began to see the whole educated cadre of very poor African countries hit by something they had not been expecting and didn't understand. But Africa was not an attractive market for traditional vaccine manufacturers. A new approach was needed. We wanted to have a new organization that would really help fill that gap in taking ideas and turning them into products and get them into human trials. The decision was made to make a not-for-profit public-private partnership and that was the birth of IAVI. It was a revolution in public health. IAVI combined industry's expertise in product development with basic science, public policy, and informed advocacy, all with the goal of ensuring that any eventual vaccine would be widely available in the countries where it was needed most. My hope is that at one time, we shall be there to tell stories about a disease that killed people that had no cure, had no vaccine, but has now been eliminated, a world without AIDS. It might not happen in the next two years, it might not happen in the next five years, but it will happen. What we need to do is search the world for the best candidates. It's not about one country, it's not about one group, or one company, it's about searching the world for the best ideas. All of the medicines, are great that they're now more available. They do not stop a single case of HIV infection. That's the fact of them. There is no end game for AIDS without a vaccine.